Hi everyone, Norman here. I have a basket full of knitted pumpkins here with me. And if you want to knit one as well, then stick around because today I want to show you my brand new pumpkin knitting pattern. Almost exactly two years ago, I came up with the pattern for these cuties. They come with little vines and leaves and are just totally adorable. I was quite blown away by the success of my little pattern. Thousands of knitters have decorated their homes with these and I received so many cute pictures. But I was equally as surprised how many people adapted my written instructions and came up with their own ideas. I've seen hats, uh, I've seen tea cozies, even a little barrette um, for a baby. So cute. So this year I thought challenge accepted and came up with a new pattern. For only $6.99 you don't get one, not two, not three, but instructions for four different types of pumpkins. It's a PDF with 12 pages full of pictures and very detailed step-by-step -step written instructions. So you absolutely don't need a degree in knitting lingo to finish these. Plus, there are tutorials linked right in the pattern for all. And when I say all, I mean all techniques you need to finish these. And of course, it has been thoroughly tech edited and test knitted for you. You can buy the pattern in my Etsy shop or on Ravelry. You will find the links in the description below. Do it now, pause the video for a second because if you are fast, you will be able to finish all four of them in time for Halloween and maybe even knit a couple as a gift for family and friends. And in the unlikely event that you need even more reasons to buy my pattern, let me introduce you to my pumpkin pattern parade at my desk. Let's start with the patty pan squash. This here is one of my personal favorites. If they grow too big, they are kind of bland and a little bit on a hard side. But if you pickle the small yellow ones, it's just delicious. If you finished my basic pumpkin pattern, these here will even be a little bit easier to knit and it takes around, well, I would say three to four hours to finish one. Next, I want to show you the bottle gourd. In a lot of Asian countries, especially in China, these here are super popular. Here is a real one I received as a gift on one of my last trips to China and it served as inspiration for the pattern. Of all the four types that are included in the pattern, this is probably the easiest and fastest to knit. An experienced knitter will be able to finish these in two to three hours. The third type I want to show you is the acorn squash. This actually was a request from one of my patrons on my Patreon account quite a while back. And I thought, well, if you want to have a big basket full of pumpkins, maybe as a centerpiece for your kitchen table or, you know, attach them to a door rack, you want to have some variety in terms of shape and color. And I felt these green acorn squashes fill that niche quite perfectly. These are a little bit more on the difficult side to knit because typically, well, knitting doesn't create these distinct segments. So the pattern comes with a little trick or two to achieve this. I've here, I've knitted a second specimen in a nice variegated colorway, just in case you are interested how this looks. The fourth pumpkin type that is included in the pattern is the warty pumpkin or sometimes it's also called a knucklehead pumpkin. I started out with this one here, but I soon noticed that using a nice colorway for the little warts uh, actually looks a little bit better and more natural. So please keep that in mind when you pick colors. 
This is probably the most difficult to knit of the four types, mainly because it includes all of these bubbles. As a result, you need to knit some of the rounds in two colors. And of course, there are a lot of bubbles. It probably takes, well, six to seven hours to finish one of these. But of course, the results are quite spectacular. Now here we have all four types assembled again and let's quickly take a look at the pattern. I printed it out for your convenience just in black and white to save ink but the pattern is definitely in color. It has all together um, well, 12 pages of easy to understand uh, written instructions and it comes with, well, let me show you tons of additional pictures and uh, all the things you need and so on. Very important, this is a digital PDF. I mean, you can print it out, but if digital means that whenever a new technique is introduced, you can click on a link and it will bring you right to a tutorial in case you need to catch up. And just in case you were wondering, this is a full standalone pattern and you absolutely don't need to get the basic pumpkin pattern to finish any of these. Except of course, you want to finish this version here as well. Uh, the basic pattern also comes with the instructions for the vines and the leaves. So let's quickly talk a little bit more about the pattern, what you need in terms of materials and, you know, knitting skills. So these pumpkins, all of these pumpkins are knit in around on double pointed knitting needles. I've seen people finish them using circulars and the magic loop technique. So if you are comfortable with starting your project on circular needles with six or 12 stitches, you know, just go with whatever you prefer works best for you. The pattern says 2.5 millimeter needles and sock or fingering weight yarn. But of course you could go, you know, pick much bigger needles and bigger yarn. So maybe three millimeter needles and DK weight or something like that. Nothing whatsoever speaks against it. You could even use super chunky yarn and knit a life size pumpkin. How fun would that be? You also need some toy stuffing. I typically use uh, this polyfill, but pick whatever you feel works best for you. And uh, one more important uh, thing, these pumpkins are knit in one piece and you only need to weave in the cast on and the bind of tail with a tapestry needle. There is no complex seaming required. So in terms of technique, it is knit stitches all over. You won't have to purl a single stitch. You will also need to know how to knit two stitches together and how to SSK slip slip knit. And you will also need a set of lifted increases KLL and KRL. They sound totally intimidating and you might never have heard of them before. But really, I, first of all, I have a full tutorial on how to knit the basic pumpkin here on YouTube. You could watch in case you have doubts. Plus these lifted increases are actually much easier than you think they are. I believe they're easier to knit than make one left and make one right and can be quite invisible. So a very nice uh, skill to have in your toolbox. I really wouldn't recommend picking a different increase because that will drastically change the appearance of these pumpkins and the segments. For the acorn squash and the warty pumpkin, you will also need two very exotic stitches to shape the bottom. Knit one together right loop and knit one together left loop. There is a full tutorial on my blog with a slow motion video, so no worries. So this here is the acorn squash and the lifted increases um, will create these lines here. And it's also what creates these segments. And as you start decreasing here towards the bottom, I inserted these exotic stitches to continue this line all the way to the tip. It's a minor detail. You can just knit across as well and ignore it. And then, um, oops, here, then your pumpkin will look like this here. See, that is the different. It's a minor detail detail. So when the pattern says knit one together right loop or knit one together left loop, 
you can just knit that stitch. It's entirely up to you and your preferences, just like the rest of the pattern. It's so detailed and I guess that's the reason why so many knitters were able to come up with their own fun variations. And also, I received so many emails from knitters in the past year who thought it would be super complicated to knit and maybe the first couple of rows were a bit fiddly. But then they found their rhythm and understood the very basic dynamics behind the pattern and were able to knit a whole batch as a gift for family and friends and everyone that saw them wanted one as well. Again, you can buy the pattern in my Etsy shop or on Ravelry. You'll find the links in the description below. Now I want to stress that there won't be any further sales, coupon codes, bundle offers or anything. Um, that won't happen, so please don't wait for it. Uh, I don't want to trick you into believing you need to buy this pattern. I want you to buy this pattern because you like what you've seen so far and you want to knit these pumpkins. That should be your reason. It's an original design that has been tech edited and test knitted. It's a PDF with 12 pages full of pictures. Um, there are four different types of pumpkins and a lot of fun to knit them all. And you know, if you still have any questions beyond that, please don't hesitate to comment right now. In fact, I would like to extend that invitation to after you've purchased the pattern and you know, come, come back to this video and ask your questions here if you need any help with uh, finishing that pattern. Frequent viewers might know that this is no empty invitation, even though I sometimes feel like I am the last YouTuber left on this planet that actually reads and answers comments. Anyway, and that was my little pumpkin pattern, or rather patterns. Happy knitting and enjoy the rest of your day.